in news that I honestly was not expecting, Gameforge have announced that Kingdom Under Fire 2 is actually shutting down. Now I have done multiple videos on Kingdom Under Fire 2. This was a game that I was eagerly anticipating for years leading up to its actual confirmation and eventual release. I mean, Gameforge flew both Mrs. Sticks and I all the way to Germany for the launch event for the game. And that was probably one of the coolest experiences of my entire life. I mean, just take a look at these few little clips as an example of the kind of things that we got to experience there. It would be in this way. It's a shortcut. One more. One more. One. The money for you. I just stupid award. It's mine. It's all mine. A promise? I gave you a promise? Do you think I care about my promises from yesterday? Do you really think about it? We got to do real life archery. We got to hold a falcon. They had these amazing events. They had these live action role players. I'm not kidding. The, the amount of effort they put into making this event a success was unparalleled. Being able to play the game, being able to play a game that was as unique as Kingdom Under Fire 2 was, providing that unique strategy and action aspect of the genre is something that I feel is kind of specific and unique to this game. And without this there, unfortunately, there isn't gonna be any other MMO like it, but the official announcement was posted over on Steam. They go on to state the battle is ending. Gameforge will discontinue operation of Kingdom Under Fire 2 on October 26th, 2021. Dear versions, regrettably, we must announce today that the time has come to cease the fighting on the battlefields of Bersha. Gameforge will discontinue the operation of Kingdom Under Fire 2 on October 26th, 2021. We look back on epic mass battles, hordes of enemies, and in particular, a unique community. We are grateful for the amazing time that we could spend together and will always remember it fondly. From September 16th, it is September 17th as of recording this video, but as of September 16th, you will no longer be able to top up premium currency. You'll continue to be able to use any premium currency you have until the servers are switched off, of course. The servers will go offline on October 26th. We are therefore terminating the user contracts on this date. Thank you again for all the great moments and we wish you all the best to Kingdom Under Fire 2 team. Now, I do want to note that the Steam numbers for this game are absolutely atrocious at the same time. It is worth pointing out that this game is, or at the very least, was available from the GameForge launcher as well. So, just because there were a max of 1,886 players playing at the game's peak via the Steam platform is not indicative of the entire active player base of the game. It definitely makes up a fairly sizable percentage, but it does not make up the entire total. Regardless, the fact that there was a 15 player 24 hour peak. Even if you take into consideration the players playing via the GameForge launcher, I would not expect there to be any more than 50, maybe 60 total active players playing. Now, this is, this is really disheartening to hear, but at the same time, Kingdom Under Fire 2 launched as a buy to play MMO. What this means is that you are required to purchase it to play it. This was not a free MMO, and that likely hindered the success that the game would have had if it had otherwise launched as a free title. Plus, if you think about it, GameForge has Swords of Legends Online right now as their main buy-to-play MMO, although at the very same time, the game is available via the GameForge launcher, so this is not indicative of the total number of active players playing concurrently, but there are still only several thousand players logged in at any given time in Swords of Legends Online as well. But given that Kingdom Under Fire managed to last, what, two years with its low player base, we should still get a couple years out of Swords of Legends Online. Now I wanna note here, and I know I'm using the light theme on Google. I don't actually think there is a dark theme for Google, right? So you guys can't complain about that for once. But if you navigate on over to the Kingdom Under Fire 2 
website, which is run under the GameForge.com domain, it actually redirects you from the Kingdom Under Fire 2 page directly to their homepage, which features Swords of Legends. That is because they have removed Kingdom Under Fire literally from every facet of their website everywhere online they do not want you downloading they do not want you playing they just want you to forget that this ever happened and again that is disappointing to hear i genuinely had some fun in kingdom under fire 2. mrs sticks also had some fun in kingdom under fire 2. we both really deeply appreciated the opportunity we were given i mean we met some really awesome people over in germany like mrs stinks and i are still friends with one of the streamers we met over there jinjar and she still stops by his streams occasionally so we were given the opportunity to meet some really great people i think there were probably what over a hundred different influencers journalists reporters content creators like us that were flown out there i don't know if we'll ever be given an opportunity like this again but I only have good memories of both the game and the event, so I'm sad to hear that the game's shutting down, but it was to be expected. There were literally only double digit players logging into play per day at any given time. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it.